Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First off, a huge thank you to each and every one of you for helping me hit over 300 likes on the last video. You guys are all real MPVs. So as promised, I'm back with part two of making your life easy with Samsung. And this one's packed with seven more awesome Galaxy features that can genuinely make your phone experience smoother, smarter, and way more fun to use. Now, I know some of you are longtime Samsung users and might already know a few of these tricks, but I guarantee there are a few couple here that'll make you go, wait, my phone can do this? So grab your Galaxy device, follow along, let's explore these hidden gems together because these are the kind of features that make you appreciate how much thought Samsung puts into their ecosystem. So the first feature is voice focus feature. So let's start with something that's going to make your calls a whole lot clearer, which is voice focus feature. So if you've ever been on a call in a noisy place like a cafe, airport, or even outside on a windy day, you know how frustrating it can be when the other person can't hear you properly. So voice focus solves that by using AI audio processing to isolate your voice and minimize background noise. So it keeps your speech crisp and clear, almost like you're talking through a studio mic. You can turn it on directly during a call through your call settings. And once it's enabled, your voice gets prioritized. So only you come through clearly, not the chaos around you. So here is an example. I have WhatsApp call open. Now this works on normal calls and also on WhatsApp calls. So this is an example which I'm going to show you on WhatsApp call. So you want to go ahead and start your WhatsApp call. Next, you want to go ahead and bring down your quick panel menu. And now you'll see this mic mode here. So go ahead and tap on this. And here you'll be able to choose voice focus. So for you, you might see it as standard. So you wanna go ahead and change this to voice focus and then press done. Now, once that's done, your Samsung will process any audio and will basically remove any background noise from your audio. So whether it's work meeting, a quick chat or a video call, you'll sound more professional, confident and easy to understand no matter where you are. The second feature is where you can change your call notification. So this feature is all about control and customization. So you can now decide how your incoming calls appears on your screen. So you can go for a classic full screen look like this, a medium pop-up or a tiny mini alert. So if you're watching this video or in the middle of a game, that mini option is a lifesaver. So it lets you decide whether to answer or ignore without losing focus on what you're doing. And when you want that bold full screen caller ID look for important calls, that's just a tap away. So let me show you how you can change this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the call app. Next, tap on the three dots and then tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find call display while using apps. So tap on this. So here you can go ahead and change all of these. So here, currently we are on full screen mode. So when you're in an app, when a call comes in, it goes into full screen mode. Now you can go ahead and change this into small pop-up or you can go ahead and choose mini pop-up. Just down below here, you have an option to keep calls in a pop-up. So after calls are answered, you can keep them in a pop-up. Go ahead and turn this feature on as if you're in a game and you, you can go ahead and keep that pop-up here while you can go ahead and use this screen to play the game. So this is the same thing for watching videos or using other apps. So here, this is the subway game and we'll go ahead and try out the mini version of the call pop-up. So you get a call pop-up this small here. Let's go ahead and try the small pop-up here. And there you go. So you're in charge of the experience. So it's your choice whether a call takes over your screen or quietly slides in. So this is perfect balance between accessibility and multitasking. The third feature is where now Gemini is integrated into Google Play Store. So this is one of the newest and most exciting updates. Google's Gemini AI is now integrated directly into your Play Store, meaning you can use it like a personal app assistant. So if you want an app for photo editing, budgeting, or workout, instead of scrolling through hundreds of options, just ask Gemini. It'll analyze rating, reviews, and description, and suggest the best app based on your question or need. So you can even ask things like, what is a good note-taking app for students? Or which weather app is the most accurate? And it'll give you smart tailored answers. So here is an example. We'll go ahead and open up Play Store. Now, if you go ahead and choose an app, let's go ahead and choose Sheen. Now, if you go ahead and scroll down, you'll see this new section called Ask Play About This App. 
So here you can go ahead and ask questions like, are there any social or community features? What permission does the app require and why? And you can go ahead and choose your very own question as well. So let's just go ahead and ask questions. For example, does this app provide free shipping? So as you can see, Sheen offers free shipping on orders exceeding a specific total value. And like this, you can go ahead and ask questions all about the app. So you save time and get highly personalized app recommendations without the hassle of searching manually. It's like having an AI powered friend built right into your Galaxy device. The fourth feature is where you can keep your screen on using screen timeout. So ever had your screen go dark while you're reading something, cooking for a recipe or following a tutorial? So the screen timeout feature lets you control how long your display stays on. So from 15 seconds to several minutes. Even better, some Galaxy device includes a smart stay which keeps the screen on as long as you're looking at it. So it uses the front camera to detect your face and prevents the screen from dimming. So let me show you this setting. So we'll go ahead and open up settings. We'll go and scroll down and find display. Here we'll find screen timeout. So currently I've set it to five minutes because I'm recording a YouTube video and I don't want the screen to turn off. So for those of you who set it to 30 minutes, while you're here, you want to go ahead and turn on this feature as well. So just keep screen on while you're viewing. This will keep the screen on while you're looking at it. So it'll use this front camera to detect your face. And once it detects your face, if it's gone over 30 seconds, it'll basically reset again to 30 seconds and it'll keep the screen on for you. So no more annoying screen blackouts in the middle of something important. So it's a small feature that adds a ton of convenience to your daily task. The fifth feature is where you can use pre-built Routines from Samsung Modes and Routine. So if you never explored Samsung's Modes and Routines app, you're seriously missing out. So it's like having your phone automatically do what you want without you lifting a finger. So Samsung has added pre-built routines for everyday life. So you can automatically switch to not disturb when you're sleeping, turn on Wi-Fi and music when you get home, start your navigation and favorite playlist when you connect to your car's Bluetooth. So you can customize these and create your own routines for ultimate automation. So here I'll show you where to find this. So go ahead and search for modes and routine. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on discover tab. And here, these are all the pre-built routines which Samsung provides. So this is useful on the go. So if you commute with your Galaxy Buds, if you're heading home, hear notification loud, going to work mode. So if you're navigating home, this is useful at certain times and locations. So at school, in dark. So say for example, in school, if you tap on them, you can basically set a place. And then in school, this is what's gonna happen. So your sound mode and volume will go into vibrate mode. You can change the lock screen shortcuts. So left shortcuts for Google and right is for WhatsApp. When the routine ends, it then returns back to normal. If you scroll down, you have auto rotate mode, music playlist. You have all of these, which you can basically choose. This is quite a popular one, wireless charging, visual effects. So when you go ahead and do wireless charging, you'll get the edge lighting around your screen. You can go ahead and change this to say, for example, wireless and wired charging and have this edge lighting effect as well. So these are all the pre-built routines which you can basically browse through and choose to have it set on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this saves time, saves battery, makes your phone smarter. Once you set it up, your Galaxy literally adjusts to your life, not the other way around. The sixth feature is where you can rearrange your settings menu in alphabetical order. So let's be honest, Samsung settings can feel like a maze sometimes like this. But now you can easily view all your settings in alphabetical order, making it super simple to find what you need in seconds. So no more tapping around endlessly trying to remember where something was hidden. Just switch to alphabetical mode and boom, everything's neat, clean and easy to navigate. So let me show you how to do this. So to do this, you wanna first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Register. Now here you wanna go ahead and customize your settings home. Go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on menu order and group settings. And here you wanna go ahead and customize this. So here you can go ahead and customize this in alphabetical order. So go ahead and first find all the A and go ahead and bring it to the top. So like this, I'll go ahead and find A first. Go ahead and move it to the top. Now I'll find another one more A, so apps, move it to the top. So like this, I'll go ahead and do this for A, B, C, D. So I'll just go ahead and do this in the background. 
and I'll return back. And there we have it. I have arranged this all in alphabetical order. I've saved it, so we can go ahead and press home. Now we can go ahead and open up settings. And now, as you can see, this is all in alphabetical order. So we have A, B, C, D, we have G, H, L, M, N, S, and T, and then last one is W. So this is a small tweak that massively improves usability, especially if you like more organized and structured menu layout. And the last feature is how you can have this transition effect from AOD screen to your lock screen. Finally, for those who love visual details, this one is for you. So Samsung has introduced the new always on display to lock screen transition animation that makes the shift between screen look buttery smooth like this. So as you can see, my screen goes from black and white to the original color of that wallpaper. So when you tap your screen, it doesn't just snap into a lock screen anymore. So it gently fades and the transition giving your phone more polished and a premium look. So it's a subtle, but once you notice it, you love it. So let me show you how you can apply this effect on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, tap on Wonderland, then tap on create your different lock screen effect. And here we'll go ahead and create a new one. So we'll go ahead and choose a wallpaper. For this, you'll need to turn on your AOD screen. So first I'll go ahead and choose a lock screen for our wallpaper. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Again, I'll choose the same wallpaper. Now we'll tap on close. And here we'll go ahead and choose the effect style. So I like the edge effect. So now let's go ahead and choose screen on. So this is when your AOD is on and when this is your AOD is off. So as you can see, this gives like a black and white effect. Now, once that's done, tap on save, then tap on save again. And now you wanna go ahead and set this wallpaper as your lock screen. Now, once that's done, press home, lock your screen, and this is what you'll see. Go ahead and wake it up. And then this will basically transition into a colored wallpaper like this. So it's all about aesthetic and feel. Small touches like this makes your Galaxy feel faster, smoother, and more satisfying to use every single day. And that wraps up part two of making your life easy with Samsung. So these seven features really show how much attention to details Samsung puts into the user experience, combining smart AI, customization, and aesthetics to make your everyday life simpler. Now I want to hear from you all. Which feature was your favorite? Did you already know about some of these features or were a few completely new to you? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. I love hearing your feedback. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new today, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. So let's keep the momentum going. We can hit 300 likes again on this one, and I believe we can. Who knows? If we do, I might just surprise you with part three, and it's going to be packed with even more powerful Galaxy tips. Thanks again for watching. Stay awesome. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.